Mastering ellipses. Making your sentences more expressive. Hello there, language enthusiasts. Today, we are going to take a closer look at an often overlooked but highly versatile punctuation mark, the ellipsis. Also known as those three little dots, ellipses are like the unsung heroes of English punctuation. Let's dive into the purpose of using ellipses and discover how they can add depth and subtlety to our writing. Ellipses, represented by three dots, are punctuation marks that serve various purposes in English writing. They can indicate an omission, create suspense, or denote a pause. But remember, ellipses should not be overused. They work best when used sparingly and strategically. One of the primary uses of ellipses is to signal that something has been left out or omitted from a sentence or quotation. This can be particularly useful when you're quoting a lengthy piece of text but only need to use a specific portion. Here's an example. Original. She said, I am going to the store to buy some apples, oranges, and bananas. With ellipsis, she said, I am going to the store to buy some bananas. As you can see, the ellipsis allows us to skip over parts of the quote that may not be relevant to our purpose. A more creative use of ellipses is to create suspense or intrigue. Ellipses can add a touch of drama to your writing by leaving the reader hanging, anticipating what's to come. Consider this sentence. Slowly, she opened the door to the attic. See how the ellipsis at the end builds suspense? It's like a literary cliffhanger, urging the reader to continue to find out what happens next. Finally, ellipses can be used to denote a pause in speech or thought. This can be especially helpful in dialogues, where it can show a character's hesitation, uncertainty, or trail of thought. Here's an example. I just I can't believe it. In this example, the ellipsis signifies a pause, expressing the speaker's shock or disbelief. And there you have it, the magic of ellipses. We hope this video helped you understand the purpose and power of ellipses. Remember, the key is to use them sparingly and at the right moments. They are a tool in your writing toolbox, not the entire toolbox itself. Keep practicing, and soon, you'll be using ellipses like a pro. Thanks for joining us today. Until next time, happy writing.